introduce ourselves. Paco, please go ahead. Uh, I'm Paco Xu from China, and I work for Dark Cloud. Uh, I, I, were, I have been contributing to con uh, Kubernetes community for several years, and my uh, focus on, is on Kubernetes and uh, also Signode. Uh, yeah. My name is Rohit, and I'm technical lead at NEC. I mainly work on SCL Kubernetes since 2017. Let's get started. So agenda for today is Kubernetes introductions and some recent updates about Kubernetes and how to contribute to Kubernetes. So Kubernetes is a node bootstrapper. Someone or something should provide the machine. Kubernetes creates a Kubernetes node on the machine. So Kubernetes doesn't going to provision a machine for you. Uh, you need to provision machine for yourself, but beforehand you need to install a kubelet and container runtimes on the machine. And you also need to install the CRI and CNI over the machines. And it's kind of agonistic to uh, infrastructures, uh, CNI, C CSI, as well as uh, uh, CSI. Now, what the Kubernetes is good for? Uh, if you want to try Kubernetes, possibly for the first time, you can use Kubernetes to install Kubernetes cluster. It's a way for existing users to automate the setting of a cluster and test their application and it's a building block in other ecosystem or installer tools with a larger scope. Now, Kubernetes is a part of C cluster lifecycle, and the objective of C cluster lifecycle is to simplify creation, configuration, upgrade, downgrade, and tear down of Kubernetes cluster and their components. Now we would like to thank all our contributors who have been contributing to Kubernetes in the recent two years. Uh, and Kubernetes is GA now, so we would like to thank all our contributors. Without their efforts, it, it would not have been possible. Now, the basic Kubernetes workflow uh, start with initializing the cluster and the first control plane node. So you just need to fire a few commands. So in the beginning, you need to fire Kubernetes in it, so it just create the control plane node, and the output of the Kubernetes in it, uh, you just need to paste on the worker node, uh, where you can attach the worker node to your cluster, but after installing the uh, Kubernetes and Kubernetes, uh, you just need to apply the CNI, so you can apply any CNI like um, Calico, Weave, Flannel, etc. cetera, and uh, 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 you also need to apply CNI for uh, your core DNS to work. So core DNS will not work if until unless you apply the CNI. So what Kubernetes deploys? So on the control plane nodes, it deploys the Kube proxy, Kube API server, Kube scheduler, controller manager, etcd, core DNS, and as I said, we also need to install CNI plugin as well. On the worker node, we need to uh, it install the Kube proxy, as well as we need to install the CNI plugins. So coming to the Kubernetes workflow, uh, we need to check for the level upgrades if you want to upgrade your Kubernetes cluster. Uh, so you need to uh, run the Kubernetes upgrade plan. It will uh, fetch you the version you need to upgrade to. Uh, and then after fetching the version, you need to upgrade the first control plane node to the cluster. And then you can uh, run Kubernetes upgrade apply to the version it faced, uh, the version you want to upgrade to. And the third step is upgrading the rest of the node using QVDM upgrade node command. So QVDM scope is uh, uh, simple and extensible. So QVDM is divided into various phases. So you can uh, run the pre-flight phase, you can run the certificate generation play phase, you can run the, you can say mark control phase. So it's highly extensible solution. So who uses QVDM? So there are a bunch of users who are using Kubernetes. So uh, some of them are Minikube, Kind, and the Cluster API also uses uh, Kubernetes as a node bootstrapper. Now, it's part of composable solution. So what do we mean by composable solution is that SIG cluster lifecycle is designed in a such a way that it manages the full lifecycle of the cluster. So uh, we have a bunch of project in the C cluster lifecycle around 20 plus, and a uh, few of the project are ATCD ADM. So ATCD ADM is a project which creates the ATCD instances. It is same as QVDM init and QVDM join. So uh, you can run the ATCD ADM init and ATCD ADM join to create ATCD clusters. 
and top of that we have QAdmin, and we have uh, cluster add-ons which are uh, critical for running Kubernetes clusters like CoreDNS, QProxy, etc. And on top of that, we have the declarative approach to create Kubernetes cluster using cluster API, and we have uh, uh, cluster provisioners as well, uh, like cluster API provider for AWS, GCP, Azure, and other cluster provisioners like COPS and QSpray. And we have uh, component config to manage the flags. So if you want to specify any setting on the components, you can manage the flag using component config. And we have image builder, so it's used for building virtual images. Now Paco will talk about QVDM highlights. Over to you, Paco. Um, uh, here I will talk about uh, QVDM uh, highlights. Uh, so uh, this uh, this project is not uh, that active uh, because we uh, want to it, keep it simple and keep it stable. So it is not updated frequently. Uh, so uh, here we uh, involved uh, caps and features uh, since 2022, uh, maybe uh, more than a year. Uh, we have done the, those feature, uh, features. Uh, so for the first one, it's about uh, uh, Kubelet config, uh, config map. Uh, at first, it used the uh, version Kubelet config map. And uh, later, we, we find that there's a problem because when you upgrade, you, you get an old uh, version uh, Kubelet config. And uh, uh, after you upgrade several times, there's many uh, Kubelet config files or uh, config maps, but uh, uh, some are not cleaned up. Uh, now we changed uh, the strategy. We use uh, unversioned Kubelet uh, config map, and uh, uh, so this would be much simpler. And uh, 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 the next is about the master uh, node rule because we have renamed that to control plan. Uh, and du during the pro uh, this, this uh, long process, uh, we started the deprecation at uh, the version 1.20, and then we have uh, tried to handle those. Uh, master labels at first and later we have <coughs> removed the tent from the node. Uh, after we rem removed the tent for one release and we started to remove the toleration for, for the master node. Now uh, in latest uh, uh, version, uh, there's no master uh, node rule now. And, but, but for uh, some <coughs> other applications, you should uh, try uh, to uh, the same, same process to Fit this. Uh, and the next is about uh, uh, security. Uh, currently, we, we are running a uh, control plan uh, as non root, but this is not default. It's an alpha feature. Uh, uh, there, uh, there's a reason that uh, uh, Signode is working on user namespace support for uh, Incrublet. Uh, so we are waiting for that feature, and uh, I will elaborate more uh, uh, in the following slides. Uh, the next is about uh, the Kubernetes customized uh, customization uh, with patches. Uh, patches. Uh, so uh, th there are some updates in uh, recently about uh, we add the support for the Kubernetes configuration, so they, uh, we can uh, specify some uh, node uh, node uh, for node. Uh, every node there may be some different configurations. Uh, the last one is uh, just uh, merged uh, in the last release. Uh, we used uh, the EDC learn mode uh, in uh, 1.27. Uh, it is currently an alpha feature. You can enable it. Uh, then when you join a new control plan, uh, it is uh, stiffer. Uh, yeah. uh, the first one is uh, about security. Uh, currently, uh, security is uh, uh, very important. And uh, uh, this feature is added since uh, 1.22. Uh, we use the security context runs user to make all the control pl um, plan ports to run as non-root. Uh, here is a list. Uh, we run everything in non-root. Uh, and uh, besides, uh, in Signode, we, we did run uh, Kubelet. We can run Kubelet in uh, user namespace in, uh, uh, since 1.14. This is just running the Kubelet binary in uh, download, uh, in user name, namespace. And uh, another thing about uh, uh, it is uh, running all ports in uh, user namespace. This is also alpha, and uh, 
uh, currently is uh, active working. Uh, there are uh, we need more feedbacks from the signal side. Uh, and uh, uh, after, the, after this graduated to beta, I think uh, this, this can be enabled by default in uh, your Kubelet. So the uh, non root uh, ETCD uh, or non root uh, control plan ports is not needed, I think. Uh, so, so we kept it alpha. Uh, if you want uh, uh, this non root, now you can use that. And uh, uh, if you want uh, rootless in the future, I think this uh, signal working on user namespace is uh, a better choice. Uh, uh, next is, is about uh, ETCD. Uh, ETCD has announced a new feature in uh, version 3.4. Uh, they added a learner mode. Uh, uh, ETCD can join as a learner uh, and then promote it to a voting member. Uh, when it is a learner, it uh, did not vote. So. Uh, it just uh, keep uh, catch up with the other followers, leaders uh, to make it uh, the data the log, and uh, then when when it can promote, we can promote it to a voting member. Uh, that that's what we do did in uh, the last read cycle, uh, and uh, currently we support support it, and uh, uh, it is more safe if you your ECD have more data and uh, the networking or the the disk is not that fast. Uh, that there may be uh, some risks if you join uh, as uh, using it before we, yeah. Mm, uh, the next is the patches. This is about the extensible uh, of CrewVDM. Uh, uh, since uh, 1.2022, 20, uh, uh, we add the support for uh, CrewVDM API server, controller manager, and scheduler, etcd. Uh, those things we can uh, do some patches. Uh, uh, here's an example you can see here. Uh, here's an example to patch ETCD. JSON, uh, we add an, a notation. Uh, uh, this, is a patch. this is a patch to JSON. And uh, uh, you can patch like this to your uh, static ports. And uh, 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 now, since to one, uh, version 1.25, we can support the patch kubelet configurations. Uh, the Kubelet configuration is in YAML, so you can patch, uh, patch some things in your locally. Uh, the configuration is like uh, uh, you can specific a directory uh, when you init or join. Uh, so uh, this uh, you can put those patch files in the directory. Then uh, the Kubelet will uh, respect the patch. Uh, here, here's uh, something about uh, CrewVDM configuration updates uh, uh, since uh, 1.10. Uh, there are many feature updates, and uh, uh, men, uh, oh, oh, so, so sorry, uh, uh, there, this is about uh, the uh, history of uh, CrewVDM configurations, and uh, uh, currently there's only uh, version one beta three for and uh, something is working in process for reset configuration and upgrade uh, configuration that is candidate for the next uh, next version, uh, version one beta four. Uh, uh, so here we mentioned that uh, the roadmap. Uh, so most uh, most things are very stable and simple, and uh, so the configuration is a big part. Uh, so we will have some updates in. The configuration, and I think, uh, and uh, as I mentioned, uh, the upgrade configuration and the reset configuration API types may be added, uh, but this is still in discussion uh, because your users may upgrade with some flags, uh, reset uh, with some flags, but uh, those flags cannot be uh, saved in uh, config maps uh, now, and uh, so we want uh, some 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 users want want this, so they can. To do it using a config file. Uh, the next is about the uh, group operator. Uh, uh, th uh, this, this is in, uh, an initial idea, and uh, uh, we have a prototype in uh, Kubernetes project at first, uh, but then we removed it because there's no feedback at the time. But <laughs> the discussion is still open, and uh, we need more feedback for this. And uh, uh, later, there's a personal project uh, uh, demo. Uh, 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 first, we talk about uh, the uh, uh, CrewVDM configuration. Uh, 
uh, there are some, some candidate, uh, candidates for uh, new versions uh, uh, that users have uh, raised. Uh, the first one is about uh, uh, skipping uh, add-on image pooling. Uh, because some users use the skip face uh, flex, uh, they can skip the add-on install. For example, they don't want uh, Cardians uh, or they don't want a uh, group uh, proxy. Uh, so they want to skip that uh, 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 image pooling as well. Uh, currently, Kubernetes don't support that. Uh, but, but this is also can be done in later. And uh, uh, up, uh, upgrade and the reset configuration I have mentioned. And the next is about customized environments for uh, control plan. Uh, now we support extra arguments and extra volumes for API server, for example. Uh, and now, uh, and later, we may support a custom environment because of some tuning uh, or some other needs. Uh, and the next is about uh, uh, control, uh, controlling the timeouts uh, because many uh, users is, uh, use edge or some uh, slow devices. Uh, so the timeouts is different, and uh, uh, they want to change the timeouts, but currently the, it is not uh, easy to do that. Uh, the last one is about uh, allow multi-times. -time, uh, this is a special case, because some, uh, uh, some uh, API server or uh, control, uh, controller manager, they support uh, to apply multi-times a flag, uh, but uh, we currently save it in a uh, key value style, uh, so it is hard to uh, do that. Uh, we have to change the API, uh, but, but this is also in discussion as this is uh, very special cases, o only several special cases. Uh, so, so now we talk about the, uh, 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 sorry, uh, I can uh, pass that. Uh, here are current candidates, and if you have any needs, you can add to this issue, uh, comments on this issue, uh, to let us know if there is any uh, feature, uh, features uh, requests we can do. Uh, uh, this, uh, the, ver uh, the version one beta four may be introduced uh, in the next uh, release cycle. We, we will discuss on this in later meetings of KubeDM as well. Uh, this is about, about KubeDM operator. Uh, 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 the link here is a personal project of mine and uh, I have tested it uh, to, uh, you, uh, this is uh, an amazing uh, feature. I think uh, we can upg upgrade cross versions. Uh, currently, Kubernetes only support uh, you can upgrade uh, from, uh, from, uh, from a version uh, to next version. You cannot cross versions. Uh, so uh, th this operator helps you do that, uh, but, but it, it indeed uh, just uh, upgrade the cluster to the next version, and when it's done, uh, it can trigger another job to upgrade to the next version. So this may make it uh, automatic. Uh, and the KubeADM operator is the focus on the day two of KubeADM clusters. Uh, it, so so it, its mainly features is uh, cluster upgrade, uh, reconfigurations, re and uh, renew. Uh, and uh, some uh, some upgrades, and also the dry run is a big feature of it. So, if before you upgrade, you can run this to get the plan or or something uh, from the operator side, uh, get get every node uh, dry run result. I think th this will this will help. Uh, uh, and uh, here's a compar comparison about uh, current Kubernetes related uh, things. I think. Uh, KubeDM is the focus on the node. Uh, it, it is like a node operator, and it is very simple and extensible. Uh, it is focused on the node, uh, and uh, it's the binary, mm -hmm. and uh, so you can use it to manage the cluster on node. Then the next is the KubeSpray. It is more like uh, some uh, OS operator. It uses Ansible, and uh, you, uh, it can support uh, bare metal and uh, most cloud. Uh, you, because it uses Ansible, so it is free to control those nodes. Uh, it can control the binaries. Uh, that is why some users choose KubeSpray in bare metal. Uh, and the cluster API is a cluster operator, I think. It, it uses 
Kubernetes style APIs. It uh, is uh, declarative APIs, uh, and uh, the patterns to automate cluster lifecycle management. Uh, so currently, cluster API is very hot because uh, you can manage multi clusters here, and uh, the upgrade uh, it uses is to uh, delete the old version uh, node and uh, just join a new one, a new version with, with new version. So so it uh, don't need to upgrade it uh, on the node uh, because it can touch the infrastructure. Uh, the next is, uh, uh, so sorry, I, I can mention the KubeDM operator now, and uh, it is focused on the day two of KubeDM, and uh, uh, it uh, cannot touch, uh, it is using pod, it, uh, it, uh, it is operator, so it, can, uh, it is hard to touch the systemd part. So you when you want to do some upgrade, uh, uh, there would be some limitations here, I think. Uh, that is why KubeADM operator is not that popular, I think. Because if you want to, uh, you you have uh, you you can touch the infrastructure. Uh, maybe there are some other good choice. And uh, if you just uh, do it manually, you can use Kubernetes uh, directly. Uh, if you uh, have Ansible, you can do it with Ansible. But Kubernetes is like uh, uh, other operators. It, it just uh, did something uh, in pod. Uh, so that, 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 that is so many limitations. So it can do the stamps, uh, makes the ops auto, but, autoly, but uh, not that good enough, I think. Uh, so this needs some feedbacks. If you uh, you are suffered to maintain a cluster uh, with Curve ADM uh, directly, I think it, it will help. Uh, next, I, I also involved uh, COPS and uh, Curve Bean. Uh, COPS is a uh, like a, a Kubernetes ops, and it can generate uh, Terraform. That, that that is very uh, very attracting people. And uh, KubeADM is based on Kubespray. It is like an operator for Kubespray. Uh, it wants to make it now Ansible, just the uh, there it is. Yeah, then that's my time. So, how many of you have contributed to KubeADM in the past? So you can raise hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> quite a few, no problem. So uh, we love new contributors, and uh, as you can see, the right, Kubernetes is GA now, and we have some beta projects and alpha projects. Uh, so we love new contributors, as you can see. Uh, here is a Kubernetes contributor guideline by Lubomir. You can uh, watch this video on YouTube, and you can navigate to our community phase, look for good first issue, and or help wanted issues, so maintainers will help you uh, in the issues. And you can also help with uh, uh, non-code contribution with docs and testing. You can attend our Zoom meetings and ask questions. Introduce yourself on Kubernetes Slack. Uh, attend and watch new contributor sessions uh, of SIG Contribex. And chop wood and carry water, be kind. Everyone earns their place at the table. So here are a bunch of uh, help wanted issues. You can pick any of them or either good for issue. So thank you so much, everyone, for joining the talk. And here is some frequently asked questions. So uh, the most recent update is uh, that kts.gcr.io redirects to registry.kts.io. So traffic from older kts.gcr.io registry will be redirected to registry.kts.io with the eventual goal of sunsetting kts.gcr.io. So thank you, everyone, for joining this talk. <laughs>